people are using buses, trains and the Tyne and Weir metro, but many more of us are cycling. Now, councils wasted no time in creating pop-up cycle lanes alongside road closures to help encourage more bicycles and pedestrians. But are motorists actually being unfairly penalised now with a rash of ill-thought-out schemes? Well, Luke Walton has been taking a look. Visit any town or city centre and they're increasingly easy to spot. Not just cyclists, but also the emergency COVID measures encouraging more of us to walk or pedal. Measures that in some cases stir fierce division. Zero consultation and the results spoke for themselves. It was absolute traffic chaos. If we do nothing, we're going to see rising levels of toxic air pollution, which means more lung disease, more cardiovascular disease, particularly affecting children. As cycle lanes, wider pavements and traffic diversions pop up, so does the backlash. Road closures like this one in Newcastle are designed to make life safer for cyclists and pedestrians, but many motorists say they're also causing serious congestion and hold-ups. And with the government promising to make at least some of these local schemes permanent, a political row is brewing. In Gateshead, the sudden announcement of diversions prompted a mass petition. To try and do everything at once, it was just too much. It was the straw that broke the camel's back for a lot of people. Residents say the changes add half an hour to their commute. If our journey times have increased and our mileage has increased, stop starts traffic has increased, that's just moving pollution to other areas of Gateshead. The council says it's listened and adapted its plans, but it insists action is required. We still have problems to deal with. We still have a climate change emergency. We still have 400 people on Tyneside dying from poor air quality, and we have a whole load of transport problems related to COVID. From Tynemouth to Whitley Bay, another pop-up cycle lane, another row. A boon for safe cycling, say supporters, while opponents are angry about a new one-way system. It means that cars...